Hey, what is going on peeps? Today I have a quick little video that I want to show you guys. Uh, when I started getting into photography and videography about two years ago, mainly as a hobby, there was just a wealth of information out there to consume and it was just so confusing at some times. So that being said, I wanted to start normally introducing some camera gear and video gear equipment into the normal cadence of uploads so you guys can gain some more insight into some of the stuff that is out there. So for this video, I just want to ask, have you guys ever wondered how some of these videos that you see have this really, really smooth and stable shot, even when, for example, the person is going forward or running? Uh, well, that is basically enabled by something called a video stabilizer. If you've never seen them today, we are going to be looking at one of them that I found uh, from Amazon for about 260 US dollars. It's called the Covacam Monocam CF. And I bought this because the other day I had a wedding job to do and uh, I thought it would do the trick so that being said let's get into it if you've ever done any videography gigs you know how much of a hassle it is to transport your stuff back and forth from the car to the venue and back again so Covagam has went ahead and provided this cool little strap that you can run on your shoulder and you can make that process a little bit easier so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have it might be a stabilizer I'm just saying here she is. Now, before I begin, let me just take a second to explain to you guys how stabilizers work. So usually on the bottom, you have a set of weights that you predetermine to offset the weight of your camera that you mount on the top like this. When you have a good balance of weights, this gimbal right here is able to absorb all the camera shake that you will have from breathing hard, from walking, from running and give you that smooth, stable shot that you're after. So what are the things that I like most about this Covacam compared to others? Let me show you. First, I love the fact that this was made of carbon fiber, which means that you're going to be less fatigued and less strained at a wedding when you're holding it for extended amounts of hours at a time. Second, I like the fact that usually over here you have a base plate with a bunch of weights that you have to pretty much, you know, uh, just guess what is the right amount. But Covacam has gone away with that and provided these cool little fold-out weights that you use to uh, just make the process a lot more simpler. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, what if that's not going to be enough uh, or it's too much maybe for the camera weight that I have? Well, they've gone ahead and offset that by having a, uh, the ability to move this handle up and down on the shaft as well as the base plate to give you leverage for where the optimal balance should be. Also have these markings over here, which are really, really handy. And you also have them on the top, if you've noticed right over here. Uh, what that enables you to do basically is uh, balance your camera one time. You can go ahead and jot these measurements down and the next time you want to go ahead and balance that same camera setup, uh, voila, you just have everything right there for you uh, in a matter of seconds. You don't have to spend minutes going through the setup. The last thing I will say, which I thought was just so cool, was not only is this a stabilizer, but you also have the ability for it to be a monopod so what a monopod is going to do for you is basically allow you to you know lock this up over here let's extend that some more and you can rest your camera on this monopod and get added stabilization for your shots in case you ever need that i thought that was so cool uh, really a nice little hidden benefit with the stabilizer and the fact that it comes cheaper than other alternatives out there is even better um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, like I said, your camera rests on top over here. Uh, you have these uh, quick little uh, uh, knobs over here that allow you to make really quick uh, fine tuning. For example, this will go front and back. And it has a nice little safety feature here that if your camera is ever on here and let's say you forgot to tighten it, well, you know what? It's never going to come out because it's locked. So, I mean, I think this thing is a, a steal. It's a really good deal. And uh, let's show you some shots and how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and balance this thing. First of all, you're gonna have to mount it to the top. Then we can go ahead and slide this thing in. And then you are able to kind of guess to see where you're at. So you're gonna notice that it goes too much forward. 
So you release this thing and with this cool little knob, you're able to just make these little adjustments back and forth. You gotta do a drop test to make sure it takes about one and a half to two seconds. See, that's a little bit too quick for it to go from here to here. So let's count. One, two, a little bit too quick. Let us adjust this a little bit. Bring this up. Try that. One, two, I like that better. Okay, so now that we have it balanced, we can go ahead and run some test shots. So let's go ahead and begin. So I hope whatever the case may be, they're okay. But yeah, so you guys, I'm gonna wait for these people to go away. Oh no, no, no you're fine. <laughs> Unless you wanna be a guest appearance, a guest star. Yeah. Okay, no problem. <laughs>